Troy Drew. Bad boy. Yo, what's going on, peeps? And I just got one question for you guys, and maybe you guys can answer it to me in the comments below. What the hell are the Pistons doing? I understand we're not going to beat Milwaukee. We're probably not going to beat Brooklyn too often. But to get spanked, and I, I, I let the Brooklyn game go because it was off the back-to-back, -back, but Milwaukee, we had no drive to do anything. We didn't look engaged. We were not trying after the first quarter the defense was good in the first quarter i was really impressed it's what kept us in the game in the first quarter and then it just disappeared but the thing that's been consistent throughout the season so far has been our lack of offense it's a problem there's too many guys just standing there ball watching there's no off ball movement we're not making the extra pass enough and when we do make that extra pass like we made one against milwaukee i think jeremy grant hit the three or it was deep i don't remember but everyone touched the ball there was movement it looked good there's been glimpses of it but then the next play it's like jeremy grant i saw everyone else just like standing around and then like what are we doing that's just it we got a young team we have a lot of people who can attack the basket in transition and we're not getting in these opportunities we're not and that's a problem i don't know if we'll ever be like a top 10 offense this year if we turned it around but we have to be towards the bottom of the list. And all you have to do is just initiate some off-ball movement, set some more screens, incorporate the pick and roll. I wanna go through and dissect how good Killian and Cade can be in the pick and roll. Cause they used a lot of that overseas for Killian and in college for Cade. We're not utilizing that. And you got two big men who would be really effective with that. You have a more athletic big and beef stew who could be a lob threat. And then you have a guy with Kelly Olenek who can pick and pop and expand the pick and roll. So that way, when the defense adjusted, you have a plan B. And at the same time, when you keep killing people in the pick and roll, what does that do? The off-ball defender's going to come over and help, and that's going to create shops for Jeremy Grant, Sadiq Bay, Frank Jackson, who's been struggling this year. And if you're going to have Cade playing in the corner, it will help him get more open looks. And that's another big problem, too. Why was Cade just standing in the corner half the game? You're not going to draw some plays for Cade to get his confidence up. Every time Cade had the ball, it was ISO. He had to make his own shot, which is something he's going to have to get used to and incorporate. But it's game number two coming off an ankle injury. You're not going to run him some plays, get him some easy hoops. It's a problem. And you have to start looking at Dwayne Casey seriously. I'm tired of the tanking stuff. It's time to show us at least some development. I'm cool if we don't make the plan tournament. I'm cool if we're bad, but last year we were the, one of the worst teams in the entire league. We got the first overall pick because of it. We looked like a better team. Yeah, we lost a lot of games, but we were competitive. We were shown some things. And so far, I have not been impressed with Beef Stew this year. I'm really disappointed by that. Last night, Sadiq Bey looked like he didn't want to shoot, but overall, he's had a good year. Killian's confidence is looking better. He's shown improvement, but what has this team done differently? What have we gotten better at? I don't see anything. We actually look worse, and I'm pretty sure if I went through and looked through the stats, statistically we'd be a worse team than last year. And that's not okay. I'm okay if we lose games against Brooklyn and Milwaukee and Atlanta and all these other good teams we've played. But be competitive. Stop getting blown out. This has not been the way I thought the season was going to go. And there's a lot of things we can talk about. But you really need to start looking at Casey. And I'm sure Troy Weaver is. Troy's no dummy. The rotations are questionable. Who's playing with who's questionable. One night you got Diallo starting. The next night he's not playing at all. What are we doing? What's going on? What's the game plan? If we're tanking, just say we're doing something along those lines just give us the hidden clue because last night was tough to watch even with kate out there i wasn't excited at all it was just bad 
But let me know what you guys think, man. What do you think is going on with the Pistons? There's so many things we could be doing differently and better. But I'll leave that all down below in the comments. Instagram, Twitter, DSA members, uh, Drew313 shirts in the description. Check those all out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And that's the bottom line because Double D said so. Peace.